All right, it's BJ Balls, our comedy podcast. Fuck me. Woo, it's been a while. Ah. <laughs> Jordy, it has. How are you going? A bit sore. He's back. He's back, people. He nearly, he nearly, <laughs> he nearly fucking died on me. <coughs> Don't cough, no, bro. <laughs> Don't cough. Yeah. I'm putting my oh, mask I'll... on because you're fucking coughing now. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I'm fucking... Hold on. Hold on. Fucking you, Daniel Andrews. Fucking... I've got to get a mask on. For fuck's sake. Oh, oh, you're at home. You're at home. Are oh, you coughing? I don't want to catch anything. Jeez. The fuck? You're Man, I struggle trouble. like this in coals. For fuck's sake. <laughs> fucking... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Actually, I've, I've worked it out. I've, wor- I've worked what? it out. I've worked the mask. Have you got a cigarette hole in your mask? Oh, hold on, is let me show you. Is? I've worked it out. I've turned around and I said, <laughs> I said, if, if they want to fucking really put the fucking on the old uh, pump on the old wog, you know, because I'm a chimney, you know, I'm a fucking chimney and I can't handle it without a fucking, you know, Captain Steubing fucking. So I've actually done the old, uh, got the old hole here and got it. Got, how do you know when you're done? Oh, the thing, the you thing just, just chew fucking, it. The thing <laughs> starts to burn, and you just fucking. Oh, fuck this way to shave. This, this is like a compression session, for fuck's sake. A dude, a dude at work the other day was wearing his mask. We went out for a smoke, and I was like, "Do you reckon you can get it through the mask?" He goes, huh, "I don't know." And he oh. tried, and he sucked so fucking hard, and then when he exhaled, it just. <laughs> just like a smoke screen. <laughs> oh no, I can't do it. You know, I'm just walking the dog now. I've got to. I need to do this. Oh fuck's sake! You don't have to wear a mask while you. Yeah, I do actually. While you're exercising. No, no. If you're running, you don't need a mask. So what why do you... do you have to walk? Where... Really? I don't run. Oh. Oh. oh god, these masks! For fuck's sake! <laughs> Take fucking it killing me. I'm going to die with a fucking, fucking mask. Attack. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Nah, you, you, oh, you know God. what? Benny, you need a pipe. I've actually got a pipe. I should get that pipe. pipe and just go straight through, yeah. <laughs> I've, got the, I've got the pipe. Oh, God. Yeah. Pipe would just go straight through the mask. That'd be brilliant. It's unbelievable. Fucking what's going on, bro? Like, I mean, seriously, this world's fucked. Hey, been anyway. I don't know. I've, I've I've been at home for a week. I uh, I developed a bit of a sneeze and a light head late last week. Yep. Um, when got tested, all that sort of shit, and uh, came back negative. So I had a week's holiday at home. So negative the crabs or negative the COVID. <laughs> You know I don't like hunting. You know I don't like killing animals. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, I still with <laughs> crabs. No, I. I <laughs> I, I actually lost the crabs today because uh, I went and got a vasectomy. So, oh, Jesus. Yeah, a vasectomy. So oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. It's about, it's about three degrees in my fucking apartment at the moment and my balls are on ice. Oh, it's great. God. You can yeah. do it. You can. I, 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 do, I, do need, I do need to have a vasectomy, I think. I don't know. Dude, I just did it. I know how to do it now. I'll take oh. care of it. So I'll get my legs up in the air and you start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just shave, deodorize, done. Easy. Nah, fuck me. No. I'll make sweet small talk with you. Actually, I've. You know how I always say I've got a story for some. I've got a story for that too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, think story. of it this way: vasectomy, six hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it like a quarter of the price because I've already got the tools at work. So what, what's that? Two hundred bucks. Yeah, I'll do. Yeah, I'll do. Yeah, I'll do it for two hundred. Is that a quarter? Six hundred. It's close enough. Oh. <laughs> a third. Oh, all right. I can't do fucking maths. I'm not a mathematician. Jeez, all right. Take oh, okay. Change. What? One fifty. I'll do it for one fifty. All right. Yeah. Too expensive, man. Come on. Oh fuck. All right. Hey, please. Draw. Fuck you, man. Come on, cheaper, cheaper, <laughs> can. <laughs> Drive a hard bargain, you. Oh. Fucking European. Listen, mate, you gotta you gotta barter. I go uh, anywhere I go in the world, right? I I, I, I go oh. there. I actually I've been watching those bartering. You know those guys that go around like the world and they they barter at places. You mean tight cards? 
Yeah, Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like they end up in Thailand, wherever. And what fascinates me is like um, they turn around and like everybody says, oh, you've got to bar it and get to, you know, have fun with them, which is all right, cool, have fun with it. But they turn around and look, he was buying Nikes that were worth, uh, in. it was actually in Vietnam. So he was buying Nikes. Straight were, from the factory. From the factory, right? Yeah. yeah. So he was getting Easy's or whatever they're fucking called. I don't know what the fucking Easy is. But anyway, he was buying an Easy's. And um, and then he basically went, I'm not paying 40 bucks for him. And like, oh, I'm pretty sure those runners are like four, 500 bucks or maybe less. I don't know. Wow. Like, if you had to buy him, But he's actually, you know, heckle, heckle, heckling for 40 bucks. Come on, bro. Heckling slaves? That's fucked. I, okay, I've got I've got two rules when it comes to bartering. Yeah, one is it's okay in the right circumstance, mm -hmm. and right circumstance would be uh, if you're in a tourist hotspot because they gouge prices. Yeah, it's, but if, it's, it's it's like getting chips from the footy. Yeah, but if you're buying something that's worth like okay, you know when it's cheap as fucking chips, right? If it's gonna yeah. cost you like two, three bucks or whatever, and you're still gonna fucking haggle to get it to a like a you know a dollar. Come yeah, on, you're a cunt. Yeah, you're a cunt. Yeah, I, I think. I mean, you're not gonna. It's not gonna make that extra dollar is not gonna make or break you. You know what I mean? No, exactly. And yeah, but if it's in a tourist hot spot, yeah, you can probably mess around a bit because you know they'll they'll raise the prices and try and get the dumb tourists and all that sort of stuff. That's fine. But medical procedures are the other one where I, I was not in a position. I, I did not feel comfortable bargaining. So you're bargaining with snip. my fucking life. You're sitting there giving me a fucking deal and I'm supposed to trust you now. No, I mean, I wasn't going to barter. Uh, I, was, I wasn't going to barter on the... Was bargain barter? Bartering, yeah. Barter. I wasn't going to barter on my vasectomy. But I'm now I've got the knowledge of how to do it so I can do it for you and I've already got the tools at work so there's all my overheads gone. Yeah, I know, but you, you charge me a list of price and I reckon you're going to cut corners. I don't trust you. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> cut corners. <laughs> you lube me up with fucking motor oil that you bought from fucking work. I don't know, mate. I don't know. <laughs> you sure this brown shit's supposed to go on there like when they cut you up? Isn't that, that, isn't that going to be that fucking dental shit that I put on there? Not fucking motor. <laughs> not a fucking FP fucking, I don't know what it is, fucking SV WD fucking 40. 40. <laughs> We spraying a WD-40. Why have I got a fucking mask on that you fucking paid cars with? What it'll, the fuck's going on here? <laughs> it'll be quicker. <laughs> it reminds me of this joke I heard the other day. Oh, I think it's something my grandpa told me. I can't remember. But, um, mm -hmm. why, do you, why do you only see a Jewish doctor for a circumcision? Why? Because anyone else is a rip-off. <laughs> Good. It's the ultimate grandfather joke. <laughs> I like that one. We should get my granddad on the podcast one day. He's fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah. fucking tea, mum. Fucking, we'll get him on there. Hey, what funny as. You know, nothing, nothing beats white supremacy on this fucking show. We'll do hair everything else. <laughs> I'm we don't own a plantation. Piece. We I'm don't own a plantation. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. I was actually watching something last night. I can't remember. And I said to Anna, I'm gone. Um, oh, it's a good start to the story. <laughs> no, no, but, no, no, no. It was, it was something that, um, what was it? I think it was, what was it? I think it might have been the craze or something. Anyway, I think it was the craze and it made me laugh. The guy that took him down was a Mitchell and I just went, yeah, you fucking Mitchell. So you Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> and she just looked at me, you know, when she does that whole, oh, God, I'm going to fucking kill you when you sleep. <laughs> Anyway, getting back to the, the, the vasectomy, I've got that story that, you know, you said about, you know, shaving the nuts and shit, right? I'll tell you yeah. a story. I had an Indian guy working for me, Patel. Shout out to Patel. You, you listen to our podcast. He's in actual, he's actually in um, Portugal at the moment. He's, uh, oh, nice. He's working oh, no, out probably there. Not a good thing. Oh. Yeah, no, no, he's loving it. He's out there. He's working. Oh, okay, shit, cool. So he's doing all right. So shout out to Patel and all these fucking Indian guys listening to us. How you be going, boys? I, um, I, 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 I kind of assumed that he, he like went on holiday and got stuck there. No, 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 no. He, he actually, he it's actually, like, oh, that poor bastard. No, no, he actually goes to me. He, he's going to, he goes, okay, why don't you come to us? He goes, no, no, I want to meet you. He goes, come to Europe, come to Europe. I go, well, fucking, if I get to Europe, I'll come to Europe. And he's like, you coming this year? I go, no, no, no. This looks like fucking 
or last mid last year, I think. Or now I've gone. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And anyway, and um, he actually said to me, he goes, "Oh fuck, I'm going to Portugal to get some work." And I think he's working on on the farms and shit down there. So he's he's doing that at the moment. I don't know. Whatever. But a shout out to Patel and Patel. I'm going to tell this story, mate. Um, he turned around and he, he goes. He used to call me boss. He used to work for me. So he's always called me boss. And I called him India. And I said, uh, he goes, hey, boss. Uh, uh, I go, well, what's up, India? He goes, uh, uh, I don't know how to say. Uh, you know, down the bottom. Uh, I want to uh, put my fucking down the bottom. He goes, I want to, oh, you know, right. I want to, I don't know. He goes, I want to get, oh, you want to shave your nuts? He can fucking get smooth nuts. He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this other guy that we used to hang out with, Herbie, shout out to Herb too. Uh, he's a listener. And um, Herb's like, oh, you, you used to call us cunt ox. You know, it was just, it was just our little, little saying. <laughs> and Herbie's like, oh, I know, I know, you know, I, I can get you, I can, I can sort you out and blah, blah, blah. Dad, I don't trust Herb. Fuck that shit, bro. And uh, <laughs> you know, I go, fucking, I'll, I'll tee you up. I'll get you a machine. I'll sort you out, blah, 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 all the rest of it. And I used to have this machine where I'd clip her, you know, just give it a shush down the bottom, you know, once in a while. And he's turned around me and I've got to work in the kitchen. I'm, I go, Patel, I've got your thing for you, bro. It's upstairs in my office. I'll, I'll give it to you tonight. He's like, oh, okay, cool, cool. Anyway, he's turned around and he's, he's come upstairs. I'm giving it to him. He's used it. He's turned around and he's like, are you, are you sure you, you, he goes, you've never used this on your balls? Like, ah, fuck no, bro. I'd never use that on me. Nuts? What are you, nuts? I'd never fucking shave me nuts with that thing. Nah, nah, nah fuck that. I go, no, no, brand new one, mate. It's yours. You, you can use it. So it's all good. He actually used the one that I used. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and then that was the ongoing joke and he's like you fucking bastard fucking and i go but how are you nuts this move as fuck <laughs> oh shit we used to do back in the day Fuck me, dude. fucking hell god i miss those guys we used to have some fucking serious fun you know uh for a little indian he used to be a tough little cookie man fucking hell um, i've got some <laughs> stories about him fucking you know but yeah uh, shout out to shout out shout out to him. He's a, he's a good guy. Um, but yeah, so vice, vasectomies <laughs> or vasectomies. Vasectomies. Oh, Jesus Christ. Vasectomies. You want to hook you up? In fact, anyone who wants one, let me know. I, I know how it's done now. Oh fucking hell! How is it done? Give us a rundown. I don't know. Oh no, no, I do. So there's a. I learned a fair bit about the male anatomy today because. You know, I know what mine looks like. I don't really, you know. Well, you think everyone looks the same? Yeah, no, 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 no. But it was just like, I've never had to research before because I knew I never had to deal with one apart mm -hmm. from mine. So I didn't really, I thought you, I thought your balls produced everything, but they don't. So, oh God, I'm going to get this wrong with you. Yeah, hate well. Uh, excuse me. So, you got your dick like that, or in my case, like that, and then Touché. <laughs> <laughs> so, how big was the fish you hit? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, so uh, you've got um, balls, or in my case, three, and then they're all three connected. Nuts. No. Um, they're all connected. So, oh God, I actually don't know if I can explain this properly. But there's a there's a, a, a tube of some kind that comes from your prostate. Yeah. That goes to your balls. Mm -hmm. And then your balls go into your shaft. And then that's what vomits. Yeah. And then your swimmers are held in your balls, obviously. But the potent ones come from your prostate. Gotcha. I think that's why when you get a finger in the butt, it's like, come here, boys, or something like that. So they cut that one. Mm -hmm. So your nuts are still loaded for a couple of weeks. Yeah, but you didn't do this to yourself. Nah. No. Oh. No, I didn't do that to myself. I got someone else to do it. But I can do it to you. No, fuck that. I reckon you... <laughs> and I know what you'll say. Uh, come down to Frank's and uh, we'll use a hoist on you, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can do it like that. <laughs> I've done worse things in the garage. It's fine. But no, I, I nearly, I nearly fucking threw up, man. Like the, the, the first, um, 
I'm calling bullshit on all my mates who told me that it was painless. Were you under? No, it's just a local to your nuts. But the needle itself felt fucking huge. Like, it's what I imagine, like, scraping your balls through glass would feel like. And there was two of them, and I nearly threw up. Jesus. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. You can't actually feel anything once you're under, but... Yeah. I got told I have to jack it profusely for the next few weeks. To get it all out? Yeah. But can you can you produce after that or nothing? Or is it just like, poof, air? <laughs> <laughs> no, so... Um, your, your balls produce semen, mm-hmm. so my balls are still connected. Yeah. But the vast tube, which is where the term vasectomy comes from, I believe, is the bit that carries the, the potent guys. Okay. Like the actual... So that's what they've snipped. The proper gender fluid comes from there and then goes yeah. into your balls and then... Oh, okay. But so you can still fucking drop a load. Oh, yeah. I can, I can still paint the walls with gender fluid and shit. There'll just be oh. no gender in it. Uh, okay. Yeah. So what is it? Just fucking... It's just white shit. No, okay. Yeah, the, like, fuck all of you... Fuck all of your load is actually lethal. It's just like transport. Ah. You can tell I've never been to medical school, man. This is a mechanics rendition of what I got told today. Jesus. It just... And how long did it take? How, how long were you in and out? Oh, that's put a pause on it because I nearly fainted. But um, it's meant to take 15 minutes. So I was only there for like 20, 25. And was this like your normal doctor or did you have to go to a special doctor? <laughs> no, I went to a specialist. Oh, okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> only an idiot wouldn't go to a specialist. Fuck oh, okay, that. Okay, okay. So it was a no. specialist. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was great. Um, and is it guaranteed 100%? Well, yeah, if you look after it. Like, if I were kicking the balls right now, it'd probably open me up again. Okay. But, yeah, it's like a one in... One in two... I think it's like... One in 3,000 or something fail. Or something like that. So you got to go back about 12 weeks later, jerk off into a cup. And they check it. Yeah. Jeez. So I might need a hand with that in a few weeks, Benny. Jerk off. Yeah, I'll probably be sick of doing it by then. Got the answer, mate. <laughs> no, nah, I'd be way too self-conscious with your hands around my dick. <laughs> nah, it'd, be fine. it'd be fine. It'd be fine. Oh my god, it's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen something so small in my hands before. <laughs> That's why I'm happy I got small hands. It's brilliant. <laughs> oh, hilarious! Jeez. It was great, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm sitting on ice bags for a few days. It's gonna be interesting. So do you actually like? Uh, so, okay, so on your nut, but underneath, like, your ass or anything? You know what I mean? Like What? No. Balls on your your ass. I mean, like, your toad and shit like that. Is it sort of like, what they call it? Fucking the, between your... The gooch. The gooch, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Um, your toad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not toad. What they call tote, tote. Tote? Nah, no, no. Your tote bag? Tote. Yeah, underneath your nuts. <laughs> fucking, you no. know... The gooch, right. Right, the gooch. Fact. Okay, you know that you know that bit of your dick where like it meets your ball sack, and it's that bit you, you like everyone's caught on their zipper when they're drunk before. Yeah, please tell me that's normal. Yeah, um, no, that's not that's normal. that's. Oh, I have many times. How the fucking? <laughs> but these, that's why no, I don't wear zip up pants but, anymore. But you know what fascinates me, right? These cunts that what you're saying now, I don't get how you can catch your fucking cock in a zipper. I don't get it, like. They all just drunk. put my dick in the zipper. It's like, is it just a little bit of your fucking skin? No, see, I I um I perfected the art of pissing with no hands. Oh, I do that. Fucking when man, I'm drunk. Oh, I do that. I can stand at a distance. So I can... Yeah, exactly. So, you know, because there isn't always a tap available and I don't want to be one of those guys who doesn't wash his hands. So I don't. And, 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 and particularly when that song starts, and uh, Cundit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's up, Tiger. He's up. <laughs> Jesus. Um, <laughs> no, like you. I've only done it once. Uh, excuse me. I was in a hurry and um, I went to. I thought I was going to get arrested for pissing in public. So I hurried up 
and I, I, I zipped and pushed in at the same time and I got myself. Did you like grab the skin? So you grabbed the skin, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, no, but I'm saying, great. all right, you gooch. Get back to the gooch. So any part of that hurting you or is that on ice or is it just the nuts? No, I've just got a nice pack. That's it. Or on my balls. Yeah. That's, that's not bad then. Do you want to see it? Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone wants to see it subscribe to our only fans account yeah <laughs> and you can see exclusive content huge yeah. tooch fucking snake i don't know what the fuck he's gonna show us <laughs> yeah. i reckon I, oh. I think i think a snake under two centimeters is classified as a worm are you, are you trying to tell me something are you trying to no i'm saying my age? my i've i are think i'm are you transitioning? Are you doing something that I don't know no, about? No, I think I'm so far in myself at the moment due to uh, I, I, a as cold a fat snap guy, in my As hands. a fat guy, I've been in myself many a time. <laughs> <laughs> Where to go? Where is it? Why am I pissing on myself? <laughs> Why is it so cold? Oh, fuck that. No, um, yeah, I can't feel anything at the moment. It's cold. It's great. I actually watched uh, actually watched one of those. You know that the the the, the unhealth no that body one. You know the fucking show the bodies where they embarrassing bodies embarrassing bodies. And they oh. had people with the dicks going in the body. Shit! Oh my god! And I thought that was bullshit. And then I was I used to watch the Stern show. You know, like he used to have it on the t on the yeah yeah yeah. Show, yeah. And he had this he had a competition where he'd get the guy with the smallest dick to come on. And it had a guy that you couldn't see his dick. It was actually, I don't know what, there's a word for it where your dick's so far in your body. Micro penis. Yeah, like it's, it was phenomenal, bro. I like think, I, I've heard. I don't know. I've never seen something like it. It's just like a little button. Oh, it was fucking, it was like another belly button. You know, could you imagine? You're sitting there like, what are you doing? I'm just playing my belly button. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't think I could live with myself. Not, not that. Oh, look, I don't know. Like I say, for me, it's all about the size and the girth and all that sort of shit. It's like, you know, the thunder from down under. <sighs> Five centimetres around. <laughs> yeah. And there is a, there is another thing. Actually, what makes me like, we didn't, we didn't talk about this. So it's not like you told me this was happening. I just, I was, I was actually thought. <laughs> yeah, I sprung it on you today. You sprung yeah. it on me today, yeah. And I'm just like, fuck, really? Did he fucking chop his dick off? What the fuck's going on? Anyway. Um, not yet. I've actually been watching this shit on the YouTube. On the YouTube, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what are you I'm like, fucking hell, man. <laughs> Jeez. What have you been watching, mate? Oh, I've been watching a lot of this transitional stuff, you know, where people transition and the names and all that sort of stuff. And You're curious? One more, I, 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 they got 58 names. For, what they call themselves. As in what they identify as? Yeah, as identify. They have pan, gender, gender, all these co cos fucking leaf letters. I don't know, fucking half this shit on there. I don't even know what the fuck it is. It's like I'm reading all these fucking things. I'm trying to figure it all out. And then I said to myself, I'm going to start. I've worked. I'm, I know my new. I want to call myself something new now. I don't want to identify as a fucking male anymore. As of today, I want to be called a Jacko. Because <laughs> you can do a bit of everything. Fuck. Bingo. That, I didn't even have to tell you what it was. And you got it in one. You know, Jack of all trades, mate. You know, I can cook, I can clean, I can fucking polish the machine. I can do whatever the fuck you want me to do. I can polish myself. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. You're going to have to add that to Facebook then. I do. I'm, I'm going to be putting it. I'm a jacko from this point on. I'm a jacko. Every, every fucking, everything. I'll get on a plane, fucking jacko. And I'll be like, jacko? jacko. I'm jacko. And that'd be like Jack that means that's my gender, Jack O, Jack of all trades. I, but this is the thing, I don't give a fuck. If people want to transition, transition, do your thing. Yeah. You know, if a guy wants to be a girl or a girl wants to be a guy, go nuts, man. Good good on you. And I know a few people that I know a few people go, that have yeah. done it. 
You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, know, well, I actually do know a few people that have done it, and yeah. good on them. They're, they're happier yeah. now, which is awesome. I love that. You know, but all these other people saying, "Oh, you've got to be called this, or you've got to be called that." And uh, like I've been watching a lot of this American shit going on, and I'm just like, America, Canada, all these places, even the, some of the fucking shit in Australia now. Like, what the fuck, man? Like it's too much. It's like, uh, you know. Yeah. And and they say and they sit there and they look at like white people and go, "Oh, you're privileged." privileged how are we privileged how are we fucking i was saying to you before you know i respect women you know i say it about my missus you know and you know she's worked hard to get where she's had you know what yeah. i mean and yeah mo majority of the males are fucking cockheads i'm not going to fucking deny that definitely in yeah. business in everyday life definitely but in the same token if like i've always said i'll like you know i'll I've cooked, I'm, I was a chef, a head chef and shit, and I ran my own place. I would not hire a person on their gender, ever. Mm. I would hire a person who is good for this job. Who's got the skills, who's going to fill the gut. Absolutely. <clears throat> Don't yeah. give a fuck. Don't give a shit what you were. Guy, girl, boy, fucking, what the fuck you were. Fucking, as long as you could do something with the job and you could add to my, my you know, my group of people. Yeah. You know, as in my team, yeah. Fuck it, I couldn't give a fuck, you know. And that's why it's, I think the world's just go, going to a fucking. It's 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 going. It's getting it's getting fucking obnoxious, fucked up. It's I don't even I haven't got the words for it anymore, man. Fucking no, I I come from the. I mean, I've you've probably seen enough of my material that I touch on a few topics. Not so much transitioning or anything like that, but you know. Uh, I throw in the phrase, you know, how your party is, how your party. I don't care. In a good way, in a positive way. Mm. Like I've, I've got some friends who have transitioned and thinking about it and, you know, X, Y, Z. Um, not that that makes it okay for what I, what I think or anything like that. I'm just saying like, I'm, I'm aware of it. Like I'm aware of some of the things as much as I can be. Um, I kind of look at it in a realist, in a realistic sort of way, like, like I'm, I'm a mechanic by trade or a grease monkey, right? I love the term grease monkey. I think it's fucking hilarious, but for some reason, some mechanics got offended by it. Right. So that's, that's not a thing anymore. Um, and now the term mechanics being phased out, we're all technicians now, automotive technicians. Now, I know that's not someone's gender or an identity as such. That's just an employment identity, if, if that's even a term. But mm. I look at it in a way of like, things change. Yeah. I understand that. But just because you're on one page doesn't mean everyone's on the same page. Yeah. And it's not necessarily in a good or a bad way. Yeah. But at the end of the day, realistically, um, it's got nothing to do with me, but if someone say how to crack at me like, and I've, I've accidentally misgendered someone before mm. bring them up on stage. Cause I hadn't met them. I had no idea. I just read a name out, saw the name, thought it was something else. It was quite a unisex name that they were using. Got my ass handed to me and it kind of made me think, well, you know, how, how good is someone's like, I, I try to look at things in a bigger picture or something like yeah. that. Like, if I'm going through a rough patch and you're going through a rough patch, if I'm not in a position to actually give you mental health help, mm -hmm. I'm not going to, cause we could make, I could make us both worse. I'd say, dude, you should go talk to someone. Oh, whatever. but you want to chop my nuts off. Okay. Keep going. Uh, oh, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> keep going. I'm trying to be a good mate. Go fuck yourself. All right. Never mind. Um, mm -hmm. But it's just like, I look at problems in a, I don't know what the word is, but it's just like, how, how good is everything at the moment that someone either saying your name incorrectly or misgendering you, if, if it was done by accident, someone misgendering someone on purpose is a cunt out. That's. No, no. If you, if you know it, like if you're a cunt about it, that's different. I'm not, pff, I don't, I don't exactly. give a fuck. That's but, total. That's a total different fucking ball game. But if if you can't, if you if I'm sitting there, like I say, there's fifty things there, and you do that joke about you know that Tinder date joke that you do, you know you've gone on, 
uh, well, you've told that story about when you went on Tinder and you met that chick and da 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 da, da and yeah, yeah. Like, she got all shitty and fucking. Yeah. Uh, to me, that's fucking retarded. Yeah. You, you get what I mean? Like, it's like, uh, I don't care what you are. As long as you're going to be nice or, or you're going to be compassionate or you're going to be fucking good for the job or whatever the case may yeah. be. And they're saying equality, equality. You know, you guys are fucking all Nazis and this, that. So, no, fucking, if, if I was fucking Nazi, man, I'd be burning people and shit like that. God forbid. Yeah. We've done that shit. It didn't work. I think the people who call people Nazis haven't actually watched a World War II doco. <laughs> There's so much more to it than... But I don't think they've ever even... Uh, one, I don't think they've ever watched any docos. I don't think they've ever shot a gun. I don't think they've ever seen any real death in their life. You know yeah. what I mean? Like anything that's... Uh, how can I put it? Like, you know, when you lose somebody or grieve or... You know what I mean? Like they sit there and go, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. life's all hard. It's like, well, yeah, okay, get it. I, I get it. Sometimes it's hard, but nothing's given to us. Nothing. No. You got to earn everything. Yeah. Nothing. You know, everything I, we've... If someone someone going off the bat and trying to, you know, the cancel, can, cancel culture, like someone trying to get someone cancelled or stripped of their titles or credibility or whatever because retarded. they misgendered someone by mistake. Mm. If it's done by mistake, it's a fucking mistake. Yeah. If there's malice behind it, that is a completely different kettle of fish and you have every right to stand up for yourself. X, Y, Z, whatever you need to do. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, that I agree with 100%. But on a on a personal level and from what I've experienced, um, I kind of looked at this person and, and thought, uh, really? Like, how, how, how set is your life that that's what's got you cut up at the moment? Like, daily, I'm thinking about, can I afford rent next week? Can I <laughs> put food in the fridge? Can I fill my car, you know? can I pay my rego when it comes around? You, you know what I mean? Like there's a ladder of things that go through people's lives every fucking day. Absolutely. But you saying, Oh, you, you, you pronounced my name wrong or you didn't say this properly or fucking whatever. Yeah. Or just there's bigger problems. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I, I think I know that's, I know that's very critical to that person mm. and it's not minimalizing or no beating down a community or anything like that. It has nothing to do with that. But a, a lot of people who take little things to a bigger level, not that this is a little thing, but like, you know, I've got a friend who's an absolute hippie and made a scene at a, a cafe because they didn't have, disp- uh, they didn't have, um, they didn't have uh, paper straws. Jeez. This is fucking like half a year ago when yeah, 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 shit yeah, locked down all that yeah, sort of yeah. stuff but made a fucking scene about it. And I was like, there's bigger fucking problems. Like, just relax. Like, just because it's a problem to you doesn't mean it's a problem to anyone else. And the best way to get understanding and, um, you know, agreements on things is educating people. But, but I, I, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm noticing is they don't want to get educated. They want to tell you, but they don't want to get educated. They don't want to listen. And it's not about educating somebody. It's about listening. I, will, I make my mind up by listening to different arguments. Yeah. Like you are saying to me, oh, I've done this. Okay, cool. I'll listen to Joey. One of my mates say this. Oh, I've done this. And I'll listen to him. And then I come up with my own conclusion of what I think is right. And yeah, then I'll an do informed my opinion. Way. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll listen to everybody. I won't turn around and go, I'm not going to listen to what you've got to say. God fucking forbid. I want to listen to everybody what they've got to say. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I just, I just reckon it's become really fucked up, and and you see it even on social media now. Like everybody's just throwing punches left, right, and center. And I'm just sitting there going, "Get fuck." Just do your own thing. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to be fucking trans, be trans. You want to be fucking, uh, you know, normal, be normal. If you want to be superior, be like me. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, <laughs> seriously, people, fucking stop fucking around. I mean, it is what it is. Get an army. <laughs> all sorts of shit. Um, but no, it's it's that Karen culture. Uh, of, what does this mean? Okay, I, 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 I've got to I've got to look it up later. You've told me, but I, I don't okay. get who's so, Karen. 
have you ever seen those those memes of like someone with like one of those like you know those like really short haircuts like tpr mm-hmm. yeah yeah i need to speak to the manager oh, okay karen is the i don't know what the word is like the jesus uh, like the messiah of middle-aged white women who have a problem with everything and it's like what is it storming a bottle storming a teacup sort of storming a tea. yeah, okay, they go yeah so yeah. it's just yeah. like um i don't even know how to explain it karen it's just like they make the smallest things fucking massive like yeah, like the yeah. like the women who, who called the cops on um i don't know if you saw this months and months and months ago but um there was a African American family having a, a barbecue in a park. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. And a Karen basically uh, called the police. So her name was Karen. No, but that's a Karen move. Oh, that's a Karen move. But who came up? But this is what I'm trying to work out. Who came up with the name? It's a Karen. I don't know, but a lot of Karens seem to have that haircut. Oh, okay. I, I can't. I can't explain that. But like you. <clears throat> Okay, go, go, go. stop you there for a minute. Do you think that's a fucked up thing? Like to <clears throat> say a Karen, it's a Karen. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah, I do. To, I do. Yes and no. You know, like you know, like uh, putting something in a box. Would that be? I'm not, I'm not saying the haircut dictates it, but there's certain ways that people go about things, like say complaining or mm-hmm. like I've experienced firsthand, and you know this story. I'm not going to get into it again, but it's just like. You know, I had someone complain at a comedy night. Yeah. Because she walked halfway, walked in halfway through a joke. Yeah, yeah. And didn't get the premise and took it in the complete polar opposite way of how it was intended yep, yep. by the act doing it. Um, and shout out to Matt Nanke, uh, who did this video. Look him up on all the socials, Matthew Nanke. Um, he's got a, a, a video about Karen's. And it's spot on. It is fucking hilarious. Um, but it's just basically like, um, you know, people talk about white privilege. No one has more white privilege than a fucking Karen. Okay. It's probably going to be a, a jailable offense calling someone a Karen in 50 years. Who knows? Nah. They can try. Oh my God. Did you see? I was shocked. Shocked. What? Our first couple of, I don't know, probably our 10th, 11th, 12th podcast, whatever, um, we talked about the, the Australian cheese. Coon cheese? Sorry, I'm just rearranging my balls. Coon, coon cheese. They got rid of the name. Wow. They got rid of Coon. Does the family still own it anymore? No, I don't know, but they got rid of Coon. No, if the family doesn't own it, who gives a shit? Yeah, no, but fucking hell, man. Just don't, cheese. just don't, uh, as long as they don't do a shapes and change the recipe. That probably will now. Now it won't taste like coon, man. You know, coon cheese was good, bro. It, was, it had that white melt in your mouth flavor. Bro, it was cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so when is cheese white? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not white. Your chat, no, cheese can be white. Um, Oh, Boccaccini, my bad, sorry. Yeah, not, Boccaccini, not Ferra, fucking uh, all that other oh, shit. Oh, you fancy bastard. Oh. I'm not fancy, just calling you on your shit, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting you know when you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dealing with a Karen, people. Anyway. <laughs> I have to cut my hair. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was a good cheese. It, you know, it, it had a bit of sharpness to it, you know. It hit the tongue, you know. You wouldn't want to leave it in the fridge and go dark. In the end, it'd go dark. If you left it in the fridge, it'd just go dark. Yep. Yeah. So you'd avoid all that. Um, but it was good cheese. I hate it when cheese goes stiff because it dries out. Oh, no. That's the worst. I think my... No, when you freeze cheese, it goes stiff. Yeah, well, obviously, because you're freezing it. Yeah, I know, but like it goes stiff and it never comes back. The same it way. does. You put it out, you let it fucking thaw out. and then you. Nah, I, I tried that the other day. It made me feel really sick. Um, all right, what, what's the secret to a toasted sandwich now that we're talking about cheese? Ooh, toasty. There's many debates on this. Okay. Perfect toasty? Yep. How, are it? you asking me how I'd make a toasty? Or is how, this... how would you... You've got, you've got the supermarket in front of you. Okay. You're making a toasty for you on a cold night like this. You're going to have some Benny time. You've got a drink. You've got a toasty or a cup, cup of tea or coffee or whatever the fuck you want. 
All right, I'd probably try to find the thickest bread, I could, like thickest slice I could get. Or your sourdough? Uh, nah, no, nah, it'd be, have to be a slice, a yep. slice bread. So yep. then I'd lather it in butter. It's got to have butter. You can't have it without yeah, butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Butter. For the first you put thing too much do. butter on, it turns into a croissant. No, 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 no. I'm going to fucking fold on the thing over, but I'm just <laughs> butter. Just put the butter on it. Yep. Once I put the butter on it, I'll fucking turn around, I'll toast it. Yep. So I'd actually toast it before I put anything on it. Toast just the inside. Light, yeah, yep. just a nice light toast. So you don't want it too floury. Yeah. Then I'd cut my tomato thinly. Yep. Right. Then I'd lay my tomato on there, nice salt and pepper. Well, cheese on me, you get me wet, Benny. <laughs> a bit of cheese on top. Back under the under the under the grill. Just a nice fucking just let it melt. Cascade. So you can't do it anymore. Can't do it anymore. Why? Best cheese used to be coon. Oh, they're still going to make the cheese, dude. No, they're not going to make the cheese, you'll see. What's wrong with tasty cheese? No, no, no. It's coon. What? It's coon's, uh, coon's got this flavour. The, the flavour that you get from coon, I don't know what they fucking put in it, but it's a fucking tote. It, the, the, and, I'm not, and I'm not taking a piss now. It's the sharpness. It's that it's got that edge to it. It's just that it's a superior cheese, bro. I'm gonna have to go and get some coon. It is superior. Are you, are you trying for an endorsement of a company that's losing their name? I, don't know. I reckon they should call it Benny. How cool would that be? The new coon cheese is called Benny. <laughs> Benny's cheese. Don't ask where it came from, but it's delicious. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. Oh fuck. That, that, that actually would work, I think. Yeah, that'd be my tasty. We but could do that. <laughs> if I want, if I didn't have the salt and pepper, and I had Vegemite, I'd put a little bit of Vegemite. Oh, Vegemite's the shit for toast. A little bit of fucking oh man! The first time I ever fucking ate Vegemite, I used to swim at one of our family friends had a pool, and I'll never forget. She made fucking Vegemite, uh, Vegemite and cheese sandwiches after we had mm. a swim. Didn't know what fucking uh, as a wog we don't eat Vegemite. I don't know what the fucking Vegemite was, and they brought out <laughs> this fucking black shit, and I'm looking at it going, "What the fuck is this stuff, bro? This is tar. What is it? What are they gonna do with this?" And she just put, she just, just, just a little bit of it fucking on there. My my whole family, the only person that didn't eat Vegemite was my dad, but everybody else loved my dad and my sister. But we love Vegemite. My mum loved Vegemite. I love Vegemite. Fucking, I love look like now. Vegemite on anything, no, no yeah, issue. It's pretty good. I love Vegemite and cheese. Here, here's, here's something you could try. My stepdad made this once. He, he was growing silver beet at home, mm -hmm. and he mixed. How do you cook silver beet normally? Is it like in a boil it? Boil it, yeah. So you would have boiled it. Mm. I remember him telling me saying it had Vegemite and sour cream in it. So he's boiled the silver beet and then he's put a little bit of Vegemite and a little bit of sour cream in with it and it yeah. came out like a, I, I guess, boiled silver beet. Sauce, yeah, he would have strained it. He, he, he would have made yeah. it like a, it would have sort of been like a pesto type deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Try that. Yeah, yeah. It was fucking delicious. It's the only I, time I've ever had silver beet. I used to work with this old guy. I used to call him Burnsy. Anyway, um, old chef, uh, great mentor. And Burnsy taught me the recipe to make, if you ever run out of jus, yeah. right? Gravy, yeah. to use Vegemite to make a jus. Really? Fucking hell, mate. And it was on point. Like, fucking on point. You know what I mean? Because you're cooking oh, it there. I can see how that would work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The salt's in there. It works. Yeah. It's it's perfect, you know? And we cooked it there, mate. Fucking people had no idea. We ran out. And he goes, no, mate. No, he goes, oh, we'll sort it out, son. We'll sort it out. And fucking, what's he doing? He's grabbed Vegemite. He's made a fucking jus out of Vegemite. So what? Vegemite, red wine, bit of flour? Yep. No flour. Just it, it's, it's got its own thickening agent in there. Oh, just yeah. not, you know, so you're basically breaking it down. Get that tartness. Get that salt in there. Perfect balance. Fucking nailed it. I couldn't believe just, it. Just, just red wine and Vegemite. Yeah, that's it. That fucking worked. hell. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> that sounds you know? awesome. And it was, an, it was, I mean, like you sort of look at it and go, yeah, I don't know about that, but fuck, did it work? 
No and shit. It, did. it worked fucking, it was on point. You fucking nailed it. All right, and next, next cooking night I do, I'm going to try that. You know, fuck. Yeah, I've, been, I've, been, I've actually been cooking a little. I actually made a decent goulash the other day. Oh, oh I love goulash. Oh, my lordy. Did I make a goulash? Like yeah. old school fucking... I, I, used, I used about a cup of fucking uh, paprika. Um, oh, fuck. Two onions. Sautéed the onions. Pulled the onions aside. Same same pot. Grabbed the fucking meat. Sautéed the meat. Got a bit of colour in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pulled that out. Put the tomato paste in there, fucking uh, caraway seeds, fucking mill, milled them right down, added the caraway seeds in there, fucking uh, a couple of fucking paprika, cooked it out beautifully, added the meat in there, fucking added the uh, added the uh, onion in there, it was sort of transparent, loose, fucking it was perfect, and then just fucking put in the stock, man, and cooked that motherfucker. Fuck me, <laughs> dead was that nice. <laughs> It was so good as perfect. <laughs> yeah, if I do say so myself. <laughs> no, 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 man, fucking, it was fucking on. It, you know when you just cook something, you go, "That's I've just nailed it." And then Anna's yeah. trying, and she goes, "Fuck, <laughs> men, superior breed, mate. Even the chefs." <laughs> no, com- no comment. <laughs> oh, I was raised by a single mum. No comment. <laughs> I was, but this is the funny thing. My dad, my dad was wor- always working, and I was raised by three women: my grandmother, my mum, and my sister. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like my, uh, we and I said this to Anna: we're so, as as males, we're so like you see it with mum, mums and dads. You know, you still have that uh, the, the parents, or you know, like the parents, the dad would still ask the wife or the husband would ask always the wife you know what i mean yeah and this bullshit of oh it's not equal and this and yeah fuck it's all equal man it's all equal down the track it's all equal we all turn to dust people fucking get a grip just enjoy life for fuck's sake yeah have fun with it no one's hurting anybody no except me they hurt me they took away coon fucking hell they what they took away coon They did. Now I gotta wear a mask. They took away Coon. You should start a lobby. I bought a Bring treadmill. I bought a treadmill, did I tell you? I bought a treadmill. <laughs> I bought this treadmill, fucking put it together. I'm gonna to go on an exercise thing. I reckon I should start putting a video out. Yeah, fuck it, why not? You know? That's gonna be good. Yeah, do me, it. Me, me exercising. <laughs> that's all you <laughs> It looks like slow motion, but it's not. It's not, no, no. <laughs> I read the instructions. The instructions I read the, the other night. Fuck, I put the treadmill together. Fucking should take you me, maximum of two hours. 16 hours later, people. 16 fucking hours later and about 15 YouTube videos. I couldn't fucking put this thing together. <sighs> and then I got it running. You know what makes me laugh? And I, I told you how much I paid. I'm going to say how much I paid for it. I yeah, for it. yeah. You know, I got my own fucking vasectomy after I paid for that fucking cunt. But anyway, that's not nor here nor there. I paid for it, got it, great, whatever. No, I've still got my balls, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I yeah. have But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> paid for this thing. Great fucking treadmill, right? It's got all these mod con bullshit on it. Fucking, you can watch Netflix. You can... It's full on. Like, this thing is just fucking... <laughs> it's a full on machine. But what made me laugh, right? I was I've with turned... a kitchenette. <laughs> I laughed the other night because I couldn't get on the uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah. So you got to get on the Wi-Fi to get all this other shit that goes with it. And I've gone, fuck, I'm dead, mate. This machine doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. So I lose my shit. And then and it's like, calm down, fucking work it out. We'll call the company tomorrow. So she called the company the next day. The company goes, your, your TP link fucking, because I'm with TPG, your TP link doesn't actually coincide with the machine. You have to get a Netgear fucking modem. So oh, now I've got fuck a fucking... Off. So now I've got to invest in Netgear modem to make the fucking thing... Like, I can use it manually. Like, you can still run and shit. But if I want all this other shit with it, which that's what I bought it for, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, to have the fucking Spotify and Netflix and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, like, 
I said, fuck me dead, man. Now I've got to spend an extra fucking whatever to fucking buy a fucking modem for this thing. <laughs> I better lose some fucking weight. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> my, my goal is to, 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 to drop, to, to, to really, once we get back to comedy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be half the, no, not half, I'm going to be half the size. That, that, that'd be too much. But I'm going to drop about 50 kilo. Fuck. Yeah, that's my goal. Fuck I'll do it. Hell. I'll do it, but I'll, I'll also, I think I'll, I'll, I'll uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll still be big. Oh yeah, you're, you got a big frame. Yeah, I've got a big frame. So lucky man, I fucking would have got those PC people kick your ass if you said something else like I was fat or fucking obese or any shit like that. Take it easy, bro. Take it easy. Take- Am I allowed to say you're a man's man? <laughs> well, no, 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 no one's gonna be. No, no one's gonna be uh, looking at you and thinking, "Oh, is it?" Yeah, no, definitely a dude. Oh no! If you, if you see me running, you'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> "What are those things?" <laughs> Even I'm scared of them sometimes. I'm gonna fly up. <laughs> what the fuck is that shit? <laughs> fucking hell! Uh, so I might have to wear a sports bra to start off with, and we'll sort of break that down <laughs> as we go. <laughs> Just ratchet and strap your titties. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? I'll be fine now. <sighs> let's get, let's get no, running. you can turn that into a whole little fucking get fit <laughs> device. So ratchet strap for your, for your chest and you, you, you put a phone holder on it so you can listen to your music. <laughs> yeah, be like, Ooh, I'm feeling great now. <laughs> yeah, but that's my goal. I'm going to drop some weight now. I've actually decided I'm going to drop car. I'm not going to leave the cigarettes. Cigarettes staying with me. Yeah. Um, what's this? Oh, that's fair. You got yeah, you got something for yourself. Yeah. It's my voice. I can't, you know, you know, but I, I have, I have, I have been doing good. I've been like, I've been sort of, I've been dropping a few Ks here and there. Like um, I'm eating healthier. Good. So I'm just, uh, now I just need to get really, I've got to get on that treadmill. I bought yeah. it. Now I've got to get on it. Yeah, but it's got to pay. I've got to pay, pay it off. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, son of a bitch. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll, I'll, you, I'll, I'll angry run. What about this? If you work... If you... Uh, okay, what about this? Look up a, a graph of what a healthy amount of weight to lose is over a period of time. Well, look, let's look, be honest. The biggest loser thing, that can't be healthy. No, nah, but that look, at the moment, I'm, 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 I'm on about... Uh, I weighed myself last 148 kilo. Okay. So, all right. If I can get to about 100, 180, uh, 98, I'm happy. Yeah. Okay. For, for my height, that's perfect. Yeah. All right. So, if you look at a chart, how, how long it would take, or how long it should take to lose that weight with regular exercise and good eating and all that sort of shit? A year. Okay, so you work that out and then divide the time by how much you spent on the thing. So every time you use the machine, you've used $10 worth of it or something like that. Like you have to get your fucking $10 worth of exercise. Oh man, that, how, much the, how much these things worth? Fuck, I'll, I'll, I'll be about two kilo by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what I mean? If you put some sort yeah, of yeah, yeah. Uh, monetary incentive on it, uh, something something pretty you can buy yourself as a reward at the end of it. Oh, no. I'm the, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest things. with you. For me, it's all, all about health at the moment. Like, I've been really, really looking at my health. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I said to you, um, and, you know, this, this podcast is going to be dedicated to my mum because it's a year that I've lost her. Um, oh, so, man. you know, so it's been a... You know, I just saw, like, like my dad, he had diabetes and all that sort of shit. And, um, you know, I just I just want to get healthier purely and simply for my own, for myself. Yeah. Nothing to do with vanity or looking good or any of that shit. You know what I mean? Like, pff, that's never been, that's not the case. It's basically just to feel healthy. That's all yeah. it is. It's not to, look at, not to look a certain way or, you know, or just to feel good. So I can go for a walk without actually sitting there going, fucking hell, I'm dropping yeah. a lung. You know what I mean? No, no, none of that shit. It's just literally just what they went through and all that sort of stuff. Like, you know, like I don't want, I don't want that to 
for that that to happen. You know what I mean? So yeah, um, I gotcha. You know, and purely and simply, it's just it's just to be healthy, and you know, God willing, that's that's what you know, that's what my goal is. Like if I can sort of uh, drop a few few k's along the way and have fun with it, so be it. I'll, I tried going to the gym, but I just started getting too big. Yeah. I was pressing too much fucking weight. Like I, like I said to you, I started out fucking. I couldn't lift. I couldn't lift twenty kilos. By the end of it, I was bench pressing fucking close to about 80, 90 kilo. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, you know, my, my leg presses, I started, and this is a this is no this is not bullshit now. I started with about 40 kilos on my legs, mm. right? So what's that? 20, 80, about, got up to about 200, 220 kilo on my legs. Shit. To press. You know what I mean? I was always yeah. good at pressing like with my legs and shit. Um, but yeah, and then I just went, you know what? I don't want to get big. I'm big yeah, enough. Yeah. Yeah. I want to lose the weight because I just want to get healthy. That's all yeah. it is. And, um, you know, I'm doing all the right things. I've come up, I haven't had bread. Shit. Uh, been about two months now. I shouldn't have asked about the toasty. I'm sorry, dude. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Oh, no. Like, oh, I'd fucking die for a toasty, to be honest with you. <laughs> like, oh, look, bread's still, bread still a big... That was a big staple for us, bro. Like, that's a yeah, yeah. massive staple. And, and we both knocked that the bread out. Gone. Even even slowly, like, the sugars are sort of dwindling and pushing them away slowly, slowly. Um, but, yeah, it's time to sort of really get into the... You know, and particularly now, like, you know, just we're not doing anything. It's like we haven't got yeah. any, can't go for a fucking, can't get out, can't do anything. Well, fuck it. And start exercising yeah. and, you know, by the end of it, you know, I'll be an influencer. This is how you lose all that weight. <laughs> do it. Know. Do it. No, you should do a, an influencer channel taking the piss of influencers, but people will think it's serious. <laughs> like like The Office. Have you seen The Office? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do, do it like I, that. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll actually, I'll get some lycra pants and that too. Yeah, yeah. I'll, do all that. <laughs> I'll start out with the lycras. Yeah, yeah, I'll do all that. We'll I'll talk about of... this off camera, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucking amazing. I will challenge people to push ups and shit like that. Oh, do it. You know. Oh, we can make fake supplements and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Geordie's game juice. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Well, well, I was, I was actually thinking about that today. Look, like, you just you just mentioned it now, so I'll just you keep talking for a second, and I'll, I'll quickly. Well, I'm already professional. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name's Jordy. <laughs> um, I'm staring at Benny's ass, trying uh, not to make jokes. Um, don't stare at my ass now. Sorry. <sighs> and here we go. Here we go. Here we go. My, my new my new supplements. Check it out. I've, I've got a, I've got a jimmy it up, but you know this is going to be our balls out supplements from now on. <laughs> <laughs> it cures everything. You know, it cures any any illness you've got. It cures it, so we can sort short shit out. It's, you know, your balls out, as you can see, balls it's out. All. Balls out. <laughs> 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 it's warning. Take one a day. You're fine. Not a problem at all. <laughs> fucking brilliant love you know, it knock it down with your you know your, your new uh, your new uh, balls out energy drink just to give you the actual flavour to get it going <laughs> you know with the energy drink here as you can see it's, yeah. a, it's a great energy drink <laughs> we're coming up with merch ideas people so <laughs> stay tuned and we'll have some more um, actually uh, I need to do a shout out to everyone um, not just for listening today but um We've just gone past uh, 200 subscribers on the Facebook page. Oh, sweet. So thank you very much for tuning Thanks, in. Thanks, guys. We, we appreciate everyone who just checks in and yeah, tells their friends and shares it. And Thanks for that. Likes and comments and all that sort of stuff. We really appreciate it. If you're, if you're getting something out of it, we're getting more out of it. So thank you very much. Yeah. And now you're going to um, see, now, like I say, you know, we're going we're gonna to put some uh, videos of me working out. Well, that's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and, uh, two things could happen here. I could lose the weight. I could die from a heart attack. So stay tuned. <laughs> oh, don't say that. I don't want to co-host this by myself. 
oh, you know, I might have to talk out of store and turn on the side of my mouse and stuff, but you know. <laughs> No, you can just do it by computer. <laughs> yeah, be, I'll, I'll just be like literally. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, seriously, thank you, everyone. Nah, thank um, you, guys. 200 might not sound like a lot in terms of uh, social media presence, but to us, it means a lot. Um, Absolutely. We started this, what, uh, four months ago? About that, yeah. Ish. It's about a month before Corona hit. Um, we're just doing it for fun but if people are, are getting a laugh out of it then we'll keep going so um, and just remember we're, we're having fun so we're not we're not trying to be and everything we say don't don't you know don't don't you know we're no doctors we're no we're no fucking uh... <laughs> we're definitely not doctors that's the <laughs> least of anything we are we're definitely yeah. not doctors <laughs> Actually, I said that. I said that. You know what? I actually said to Anna the other day. I said, "How do you get? How do you become a doctor?" And she goes, "You fucking gotta go to school, you idiot." <laughs> yeah, I get that. <laughs> no, no. Okay, those people with those doctor names in front. And she goes, "Oh, you got to do a doctorate." And I said, oh, "Okay, I can do a doctorate, so I become a doctor. So I can just have doctor in front of my name." And she goes, yeah. "No, she goes, you got to get a degree to fucking. Then you do a. Then you do a fucking doctorate." And I said, "Oh, fuck." Yeah. Okay. Um, so then I've got to be a school for another team. Nah, fuck, I don't want to be a doctor now. <laughs> fun, fun story. I don't know if I can name him. But I mentioned him a lot. He's a very good friend of ours. And mm. he's been on the podcast before. So you can probably do your research on it. But um, I was having a drink with him before this lockdown kicked in. Yeah. Um, and he was telling me how when he when he got his license renewed last his driving license renewed on the on the on the information sheet he ticked doctor oh. so now when he goes uh when he gets pulled over or something like doctor like oh yeah sorry and then when he gets a speeding fine or a parking fine it comes out doctor it comes out doctor oh, and they're like no cool. he's definitely got money fuck taking him to court <laughs> That's awesome he's, idea. He's probably he's probably one of the biggest acts we've had on, so you'll be able to join the dots on that one. But it's mm. just uh, credit to that man's genius. He's fucking hilarious. Oh, hilarious. Okay, that's um, <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll, I'll I'll ask him if he can explain it better when he when he comes on next. But um, give that a crack. Fuck it hell. I think it's fucking brilliant. <laughs> That's, but but think but think about it. if you got doctor in front of your name, I reckon that would get you a lot of shit. I'll give you, what you, you no. Well, what are you a doctor of? I don't know. I'm just saying you, to have this one a doctor of fucking social science or some shit, something really retarded. You know, something that yeah. that's not gonna take my life fucking twenty thousand years to, to study. What is social science? I don't know. Anna reckons it's nothing, but. Is that what we're doing? We're talking about current affairs and social... Nah, I don't know things. what it is. Can okay. we call ourselves social scientists? We could. We could. What about if we're just scientists? <laughs> I've made some <laughs> shit up in back in the day. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 never made any shit. It's the, reason, it's the reason why I didn't have an eyebrow for six months. <laughs> but my friends were happy. Yeah. Well, actually, one of my friends, and um, shout out to Nath, he uh, used to always... always he was a sort of a, how can I put it? He was a gadget man. Yeah. He'd always try to fucking build shit. So, like, you know, I'll, I'll break something. I'll give it to Nathan. They'd go, oh, I'll try to fix it. So Nathan tried to fix it. And I'll never forget once when he built uh, his garage. A jacko? Yes, he was a jacko. He was a, a jacko. Jack, uh, he was a jacko. Yeah. And he, he, he basically blew, he blew up his shed. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine that? He's living in Blackburn, right, people? He's fucking sitting there. His brother's in the fucking front room watching TV and all his brother hears is kaboom. And he, yeah. his brother comes out and goes, oh my God, he's dead. He's walked outside and all he sees is this guy with fucking black plume all over his face. <laughs> my um, my high school missus brother, he was like five years older than us. Mm -hmm. We were 15 when we got together. He had something similar happen. He, he um, because he was... So if we were 15, he would have been 19, 20. Yeah. So yeah, he, he, he would have been at, well, over 18. Mm -hmm. um, family of tight asses and he thought it'd be cool to brew his own beer. But he oh, fucked yeah. up the fermenting process. 
and gases, man. Fuck, yeah, man. one 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 of the rooms basically exploded. Well, the the kid exploded. So in one of their rooms where it was all like wood, um, mm-hmm. uh, wooden walls and shit, it was just shards of glass in the fucking wall. Yeah, like no yeah, one was yeah. upstairs at the time when it happened. But yeah, fucking nuts. And also, also, um, uh, we've got a product coming out. Yeah. Our chili sauce. <laughs> Try our chili sauce. Which I'll never taste. I'll taste it. Why you fucking want to it? taste fucking? You got to taste it. You got to try it out fucking. Because I, I can't, because I can't do fucking a dab. Spice. A fucking dab. No, it's not going to no. kill you. No. You ain't got the balls anymore, man. It's going to hurt your balls. So don't worry about it. I've still got my tongue, motherfucker. I need to save it oh, for a good, a special occasion. You just got a dab. It's no, I'll t- I t- I t- I tell you what. We'll do a Facebook live thing and we'll mm-hmm. announce the we'll announce the source. Yeah. Keep your eye and, out for uh, it. If uh, maybe if we get a certain amount of viewers, we're gonna we're gonna we'll give a few viewers or subscribers. I'll 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 eat a portion of it. Yeah, Geordie will eat something. it. We'll give a few out, and um, yeah, you can try our sauce. And, uh, and I'll tell you what. Leading up to it, I'll show you how badly I perform with anything spicy, so you know it's legit. But you can ask uh, you can ask any of my mates, uh, especially the time we went to the the fucking uh, fancy taco joint. Mm-hmm. Um, went went to a mate's thirtieth, and he had it a fancy me- Mexican place. I don't think I've told this story on the podcast, but fancy and Mexican don't go together. Mm. Like you want, you just want to get fed. You just want that fucking flavor when you go for Mexican. Yeah, right? you want a fucking like, margarita and just get fucking. Tacos. You want it to be not dirty, but like you want it to be. You want it to be street food, yeah? You want it to be just full of flavor. I I, I knew a few dirty Mexicans, but anyway, that's another story. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So this place is all artsy farts. He was in the city and um, went there for this thing. And I was like, how big are the tacos? And the guy's like, they're that big. I was like, oh, we'll get two servings of the the pulled pork ones and that because I was starving. I was like, what's this? Uh, It was that fancy and me coming from a chef in barrel, I didn't know what half the ingredients were. I was like, yeah, what's yeah. that? What's that? What's that? What's that? And they're like, oh, habanero, that's that's one of the hottest chilies in the world. I was like, okay, I'll have none of that. Can I have like a salsa verde on it instead, please? The guy's like, yeah, yeah, no worries. Anyway, everyone's food comes out. Mine comes out like 45 minutes later. Yeah. So by the time I've smelt all this fucking food, I get presented this plate of little miniature fucking tacos. I've just put like two in my mouth at once as people are talking and celebrating cake and shit and start eating them. And until this day, and I know it's a cliche, but until this day it is the most painful thing I've ever had done to me until I got my balls chopped. It was so fucking hot. I was like, there's a, what the fuck? What the fuck? Waitress comes over and goes, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? And my partner at the time goes, oh, I think he, I think there's spice in his tacos. She dips her finger in one taste, like, oh my God, that's the habanero. <laughs> Takes it back, brings it back. Yeah. Fucking horrible. All right. Well, hey, actually, you know what we've got to do? We've got to, once we get back to normality and we can do back in the studio, yeah. we've got to try, we'll do that one chip challenge. The what? The one chip challenge. What's that? There's a chip, right? Like, it's got the most, it's the hottest fucking chip you'll ever eat in your life. It's one chip. And you got to eat the chip. Chip is in what? Corn chip, potato a chip? Corn chip. It's like a corn chip, but it's covered in this fucking, this spice. Why, song. why would you do that? Just do it. We don't have to fucking, we just do it. All right. We'll try it out. We'll <laughs> give it a crack. We'll see how we go. Well, what's going to be hotter, our sauce or? Um, um, can, we, can we call it our special sauce? We can if you want. We can call it whatever. Done. We're gonna Done. Call it, well, we'll call it, we're going to call it balls out sauce. Right, balls out special sauce, yeah. And then I don't know if we'll put special sauce, yeah. Done. Right. <laughs> um, I, the thing with this sauce that I'm, I'm, I'm actually at the moment, uh, yeah, we, we, well, I've just got the guy that I got the chilies from, he's basically brined them for me, got them all ready, so they're all ready, so they're all rock and roll at his place, so they're breaking Jesus. down. So this flavor is going to be intense. I've got something coming that's going to add to the flavor, so it's another spice that people aren't using that I've gone as a chef I'm going to add this and this is going to blow your asshole to fucking bits so this is going to be 
you're going to get a first, first you're going to go, it's hot. And then it's just going to start nailing you in the ass. <laughs> I've never experienced that. So I don't know if it's good or bad. Oh, I've been nailed gonna... in the mouth before by a taco. Oh, you, you're going to get nailed. It's oh. going to, it's going to hurt. Let's just put it this way. The dab is going to be a motherfucker. Oh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Yeah. yeah. All right. So every now and again, I have a Seinfeld night with Mimi Shaheen, mm-hmm. who we're yet to get on. Um, she comes in and out of comedy, um, as, as a lot of people do. But um, she's on the top of the list of, of guests we want to get on when she gets back to normal. Yep. So I go to hers every now and again, and um, she'll cook me something every, like, every now and again. Her description of cooking for me is basic bitch cooking. Like oh, she bland. Made... You, you, you're bland eater. No, I'm not. No, you don't like hot, spicy. You don't like fucking spice. Doesn't mean it's bland. All right. So go. anyway, she can go. she can vouch. So we'll do the hot challenge thing when we get her in the studio because I remember right. going to a market with her once, and she picked up a jar of chili, opened it, put it near her eye, and she started crying. I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" She goes, "Oh, if it doesn't make my eyes water, I don't want it." That's bad. Fucking, I love her, but fucking psycho. Yeah, no drama. We so, do that. Yeah, we'll we'll integrate Mimi Shaheen's. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll do when we have her on. We'll do we'll do it because, like I say, I'm gonna I'm trying. I'm I, there's gonna be a few different recipes coming from this. There's a massive batch, so um, the breakdown that of like I've, I've yeah, this is gonna be. I've never made a chili sauce. This is gonna be my first chili sauce from scratch. Um, but I wanted to fucking blow your asshole off. All right, we'll bring Mimi. She'll be a good judge. Yeah, so she can try it. She probably she'll probably go. It's nothing, but yeah, now nah, this ingredient that I'm adding. <laughs> no, but she'll give you an honest. Um, she'll give you honest feedback, and she love she fucking loves cooking. So mm-hmm. yeah, she'd actually be the perfect person to bring on. And I'll try and think of some other people who I know. Like, no, we'll get a few. She feels the spicy shit. We got a few. We can do a we can do a live stream for that day, and then um, yeah, we can get the challenge happening. But and we'll give it, give away a few of the uh, few of the uh, sauces, and um, people can try them out, and they can give us a, a you know a review, like you um, know. But uh, yeah, we got we got some more merch people people coming coming mm-hmm. people. We've got more merch coming. Fucking hell! I think yeah. I've still got an aesthetic in my system. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled, but uh, keep listening. Thank you very much for tuning in. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, like I said, two hundred might not sound like a lot to some people, but for a relatively new channel, we're wrapped. Yeah. Basically, we're, um, we're happy. We're happy with it, and um, yeah, we're just working at it slowly. So it's just uh, um, you know um, having fun with it. I think we are. Yeah, and we're we're um, I'm st- we're starting to see. Uh, people liking and interacting on the page who we've never heard of before. So mm. we're clearly getting out there a bit. So welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you dig yep. it, tell your friends. Um, hope you enjoy what we're doing. So thank you. Are you calling it? Oh, no. I just wanted to say it before I, before I forgot. Before I cut you <laughs> off and go, right, are we done now? What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I just wanted to say thank you before I forgot. That's all. No, nah, no, nah, th- no, nah, really. Thank you, everybody. It's been, I- I'll, I've been blown away. I mean, I've been looking at it going, fuck, you just, yeah, it's been, numbers have been hitting, and I was just like, this is awesome. Like, and, and like, like we've said, we've said the story a million times. It was just one of those things where we just sort of went, well, let's do it. Let's try it. Let's see where we're yeah. at. We'll see where we're going with this, you know. And everybody that's been on, that's been awesome too. Thank yeah. everybody that's been on so far. Um, yeah, it's it's quieting down, guys, and all the rest of it. But you know, we'll get back and we'll all we'll start fucking around again and enjoying each other's company and doing all our thing. Um, so um, I just want everybody to, to get back to shows. Yeah, yeah, I just want it, and I also want everybody to be safe. And particularly now, yeah. if, you know, if you're feeling down or whatever, just fucking reach out, people. They're, you know, if you, there's everybody's out there. We're all here together. You know, uh, I know yeah. it sounds fucking retarded and that whole. But we are. We're all we're all part of the one fucking thing, you know. It's yeah. like um, we're all in this boat, you know. Um, let's let's get it happening. Um, let's get back to normality as much as we can after this shit's over. So, um, and just yeah. yeah, check in on people if you've got time. We might actually do a mental health special. 
one day soon. We were meant to talk to Shane Gordon about that when we had him in, but we got way sidetracked as we normally do. Yeah. <laughs> so, which means it was a good chat. So very, very thankful for that. But uh, we might get him in on Zoom and yeah, do a little just, mental health chat thing. Um, just to talk. And if anybody's got any questions or anything like that, you know, like yeah. I said, we're half, half, you know, we can both be doctors, you know, we can do anything. For the right price, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, fucking hell, get on the horse, Benny, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, look after each other, stay safe, and yeah. do your thing, but... Um, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Have, have, I, have, have you been getting up to writing? I have a little bit, actually. I've just been yeah. get, coming up with ideas and, and, and stuff, and I've just sort of been running in past Anna and going, have a listen to this and have a listen to yeah. that. And, and so I've just been getting, getting my ideas up again, like, you know, just the whole... Um, you know, it's sort of, how can I put it? It's, it's, it's stuff that's pissing me off during this time. So I'll be ranting. So it could be about anything. Yeah, yeah it could be about anything, but, it, but, but most of it's about like, you know, all the shit that we're going through at the moment, you know, like just, um, you know, all the COVID bullshit and um, masks and stuff like that. And just trying, yeah. to, just trying to be as positive, positive as possible, I think. I mean, that's the hardest bit. And, and that's why I say, you know, like, I mean, I talk about all the shit that's going on and and, and I'll be honest, just, just fucking, you know, it's a good time to do stuff that you haven't done before, I think. Yeah. Um, don't just don't just sort of doom and gloom it, you know what I mean? Like, as much as you can keep positive, get out there, do something, I don't know, whatever, whatever you got the opportunity to do in the garden or fucking grow some Go flowers. for a walk, have a wank. Yeah. yeah. Have you know, a wank like, while you're having a walk, you know, mix it up a bit. We just remember, once we all get back to normality again, it's just going to be work, 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 fucking work. We, yeah, we haven't done it for so long. So, if we, I, I know everyone likes to, you know, fuck off on holidays when they've got holidays, yeah. like go away somewhere. But my last week has been at home. I didn't speak to anyone other th- other than text and the odd phone call, or, you know, whoever. Mm-hmm. But um, just. It is so good to t- step away from work, even though I felt like shit. But you know, just to take a couple of days, just me time, just chilling the fuck out. Didn't feel like I had to go anywhere. Just eat some nice food, chill out with the cats, watch whatever fucking movie I felt like it, or rabbit hole to go down yeah. on YouTube. It's the best. So if you're getting if you're getting highly strong at work and you've got time off available and work's quiet enough that you can fuck off for a yeah, bit, yeah. do it. And even if you can't, fucking, you know, don't just stay on the YouTube. You know, get a book out. Start yeah. working your brain a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, read. And if you, if you don't like to read, I don't, I'm not a big reader. Yeah, um, I can't read. But but one one of one of my friends told me, you know, the other day, we were talking about it. He goes, well, why don't you get on the, you know, Audible, you know, the audio books. Yeah. You know, just listen to it. It's something different. It's not. It's not something yeah, that you do. Podcasts or something, or yeah, yeah. anything. Well, yeah, fucking hell, man! I should have mentioned the podcast. Listen to our podcast, <laughs> you bastards! <laughs> fucking listen to my podcast. No, uh, we're not plugging ours. No, I, uh, I, I, go, I go to sleep every night listening to the uh, Ricky Gervais podcast. Yeah, back from the two thousands is the funniest shit. You, you actually, it, it, it reminded me. You know, when we were talking with Shane, you just said how we had our conversation, and I was thinking about like, oh, I, was, I said that I've never seen. I actually have seen comedy live. Yeah, and I go, I, I've never seen comedy. And I, went, and I saw, fuck you, I have seen fucking comedy live. I saw, um, I saw what's his name, fucking uh, Jimmy Carr. No shit. Yeah, how's that? He, oh fuck, he was awesome. Yeah. Like, you know, and then I got into Jimmy Carr. I was watching him the other night. Fucking, he's filthy. He's just fucking filth. Um, and then I was watching, um, I also saw the show, The uh, Mrs. Brown and Boys. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, you don't like it. I like it. You know what I mean? I love a man in a dress. Uh, You're very accepting. It's good. Fuck, if I'm accepting, I don't give a fuck, mate. Just don't fucking <laughs> touch me, right? Understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. He doesn't even let me touch him. <laughs> scalpel um, or no scalpel? Fuck, you want to fucking scalpel my nut? 
listen, bro, I'm a muzo. I've taken an inch off. I don't need any more inches taken off, all right? Just back the fuck off. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. God. Oh, I, I always use that joke, you know, like, us, you know, us muzos and Jews have to get circumcised and all that sort of stuff. And when it was my turn, they looked down and they went, yeah, no, nah, we've got to take at least at least uh, an inch off that 11-inch cock. Yeah, go for it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking could, hell. Could you imagine the guy that's circumcising you that sees, sees a schlong and just goes, fuck, that hey, fucking pretty good. That's a big schlong. <laughs> I've seen something so big in my life. <laughs> I'm going to make someone so happy one day. Yeah. <laughs> With oh. a dick like that, you can have any personality you want. Yeah, you can be whatever you want to be. A man in a dress, a man without a dress, a jacko. A <laughs> jacko. <laughs> a, a, a sif, a sick, whatever the fuck you want to be, go for it. Go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, God. Very good. Yeah, I don't know. And how are you going? Have you have you gone out anywhere or just uh, nah. did, you wear your, did you wear your mask? Yeah. So you've gone out with a mask? Yeah. Good. How are you coping with that? You're not you're not a real I don't gather you as being a real rule person. You know, you don't follow the rules. You're a bit of a, you're a yeah, I do. Do you I'm a I'm a shining example of a good citizen. God, you talk shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Shit, hell. Um, no, yeah, I've bought masks. So, you know, I've been in and out of the doctors getting tested and all that sort of shit. And yeah, um, I don't wear it while I'm driving. No, I can't do that. This is fucking stupid. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, you've got to get go out and get the uh, you know, the uh, balls out smoking one. Got, got a hole for you. <laughs> I really want to get one of those fucking World War Two. I've been looking out for them on eBay and shit. World War Two gas mast. You know where you could, you know, you know actually where you could get that. I reckon you could get that way at a sex shop. You know those those ones. <laughs> not, for sucking, not for sucking farts. I want one for oh, like yeah, breathing clean know. air. Oh, the, okay, okay. Snorting well, semen and shit. No, yeah. I want like one for like a full on one. Yeah, like a World yeah. War Two style one. That'd be scary, but I reckon that'd be fucking that. awesome. I could pull that off. No, you, you could. Yeah, yeah, dude. I've been, I've been, I, I realize like because we've had a bit of a cold snap down my way, mm -hmm. and this is the first winter in maybe fuck ten years that I've actually worn a jumper oh. to work. I never wear jumpers. Like, rarely, rarely wear jumpers. Um, it's contradicting myself completely there, but you know, you get what I mean. But. It's not a like, jumper, people. It's a pullover. Anyway, keep going. Oh, fuck off. It's a hoodie. <laughs> anyway, so I've been watching a lot of shit on YouTube and mm -hmm. Netflix and all that sort of stuff. Um, if anyone who liked the Ted Bundy tapes, uh, check out the Unabomber in his own words. I didn't. I never knew what the Unabomber was. I thought it was like a terrorist attack, like a one-off terrorist attack. No, I no. didn't realize it was a series of things. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking awesome film. I mean, it's not a film, it's a series. Series, but, yeah. But I realised I've been rocking up to work for the last three weeks unintentionally. Looking like a Unabomber. <laughs> looking like the Unabomber. So one of the sketches that someone drew of him because they got a glimpse <laughs> of a dude dropping off a paper bag was the, su the sunnies I just bought with the, <laughs> with the hood up and pretty much the exact facial hair I've got going at the moment. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so... um. Yeah, check out check out the Unabomber in his own words. Is that's actually a really good, really good watch. But um, are you busy at work now? Won't be this week onwards. No, no, no. Yeah, if anyone knows where I can get a, a World War Two style mask, I'm going to sort that out for you. I'm going to find yeah? it. You got? Oh, 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 make. You've a got a connection call. for everything, don't you? <laughs> nah, nah, I'm going to connect for you. But I'll make a phone call. See what I can do. I should be able to get one. <laughs> Get one. I've got a big head though, so I need to be careful. Like, I, I want to see the no, mask. I'll have first. That, you'll have the mask, and then you'll have that thing where you strap it, pull it at the back, so you yeah, can actually yeah. hold it in place. But I'll have that awesome. thing like a fucking dick in the front, you know, that big fucking. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, that's scary. The fuck. ones that come out to the side are the fucking best. Fucking hell. I reckon they're great. That'd be fucking. Hold on, let me just have a quick squeeze. I don't know what you call them. I think it's just gas mask. 
I think World War II gas mask. Uh, WW2. WW2 guess. Guess. Oh, here we go. Maybe. Bang! Oh, fuck. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. oh sorry. Fuck yeah, no. <laughs> My They're head. Not cheap. They're not cheap. Oh, fuck. 95 bucks. Is that all? Yeah. I could do it. Yeah, I want something like that. Yeah. yeah. I think it'd be great. I'm going to rock up to work with it. Oh, there's a 60 <laughs> bucks. There's one from 60 bucks. It's a French one. No, nah, it'll probably quit halfway through on me. Oh, so you want it to be functional still? Yeah. Okay. Man, that was a great World War II reference joke about the French and you missed it. I'll say it again. I, didn't, I wasn't listening. Oh, you said, oh, but this one's French. Yeah. I said, yeah, but I don't want to quit halfway through on me. Never, fuck it, never mind. It's never good if you have to... Repeat the joke. Yeah. You did a funny joke at the start. Yeah, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> fuck off. Fuck, they're not cheap, man. No, no, I'm looking at 200, it now. 200 bucks. Army gas Russian mask. Russian's okay. There's a German one here oh, if you want it. Oh, I don't, I don't have an eBay account. Well, you trust okay. If you're gonna buy a gas mask, you'd probably trust a German one, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, but I don't know if it's working. Let's see if it works. Uh, does it work? World War Two nose piece has no slash. Uh, condition is used. Sent to Australia post standard. That's what it's got. Used. Yeah, obviously. World War fucking two. Unless you find something really mint. Oh, here's a good one. Oh, this is in Moorabbin. Fuck yeah. Gum tree for the win. How much? Uh, 25 bucks. That's not bad. Look at that. Oh, that, yeah, but that's like a fucking sex one. Yeah, close enough. That'd be pretty funky. Yeah, I'm going to wear it at work. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! Oh, if you're gonna do it, do it properly. I'm sure I'm taking it seriously. Take, oh. just get off my microphone. Holy! Oh, oh, a vintage. Oh, that's no, a children's one. So, <laughs> oh, actually, there's there's one of those ones with like the elephant nose thing. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd rock one of them. Oh God! Imagine that having the canister stuck to your belt. <laughs> All day while you're test driving cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Well, no, nah, the ones with the canisters that screw on. I figured yeah, yeah. I could um I could make a new filter for it quite easily. Mm -hmm. So I'm not worried about that as long as it fucking breathes. Yeah, you should yeah, you should be able to make something something Jimmy something up. Yeah. Oil filter. <laughs> yeah. Why? It's same thing. Holes in it. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> yeah, true. It's exactly the same thing. Except uh, oil runs at a much higher pressure than what you're yeah, breathing. Yeah, not right. oil, <laughs> fucking. Fuck I don't know if my lungs can suck as hard as an oil filter filter could. Could you imagine that? Fuck, what are they? What are they called? The Ryko? Yeah. Ryko filters. <laughs> <It's fucking> <laughs> Oh, that'd be great. Oh, got the Ryko filter. Hey, feeling? Oh, I should have just strapped a fucking AC filter to my face at work. Actually, have a look at if you can get like normal fil like normal ones for painting. Yeah. Right, and see if they've got like little screw-on holes on them. Yeah, yeah. If you do, just fucking put the filter on there. The Ryko filters <laughs> on the screw. Yeah, the yeah. Filters in there. <laughs> it's a, it's it'll be like a what is it a twenty cent piece where the filter thing is? You know what I mean? Or Ten cent oh, piece, yeah, probably. Yeah, 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 and that's all you need. You just screw <laughs> them in there, you know. Then you might do a smaller car. You get the smaller filters. Yeah. <laughs> Could you I imagine coming out the, to a um... customer? Uh, your car's ready, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at you like, where the fuck did you get that mask from? Uh, all mechanics have these type of masks. <laughs> Sorry, technicians. <laughs> 
It's a great idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. This is a new filter for all the technicians out there, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, not, we're not mechanics, we're technicians. I'm just start making my own face masks. They're just fucking fancy words, like you were saying before. That's just like, you know, um, you know, why don't you call yourself an engineer? Engineer of cars. Well, no, because I don't design them. No, no, but you engineer. No, engineering means something completely different. Yeah, but people say that for a mechanic in, in Britain. They call themselves engineers. No, they don't. I've heard that fucking on those car shows that I watch. Oh, okay. Which which car shows do you watch? Uh, what is it? Wheeler Dealer. Oh, Wheeler Dealers is the shit. Like yeah. the old, that's what got me into mechanics. Uh, the what's his name? Uh, fucking, Ed China. Ed China. He's a fucking. Tall yeah, no guy, shit. Bro. I um, I I fucking uh, I bought my first car when I was like twenty two. Yeah. Because I fucked up my tax return form, and I was uh, I was getting taxed more than I should have at the strippers. Mm-hmm. So I got a really nice, healthy tax return for my first proper tax return. So I yeah. bought my first car. And the guy I bought it off was like, yeah, you're going to need a brake uh, in about six months or a year. I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, no worries. As long as the car was roadworthy, and it was. Yeah. And um, sure enough, six months comes around, I needed brakes. Took it to the local uh, Midas in um, Yarraville. And uh, they're like, yeah, it's 250 bucks. I was like, yeah, no worries. A couple of years later, needed brakes again from the service. And uh, like, oh, that's 800 bucks. I was like, what? Like, oh, it's 800 bucks. These cars are getting more and more dear and they're harder to find parts for. I was like, mate, it's a 91 Commodore. They're in every second driveway of this fucking joint. Like, what are you talking about? So I went home looked up videos on how to change brake pads and um, stumbled across wheeler dealers. And yeah. there was an episode where he's changing brakes on something. I can't remember what it was. And um, well, that doesn't look too hard. And I, I didn't even know a screwdriver for light bulbs back That's then. You know what I mean? Like absolutely no training whatsoever. So I went down to the, um, went down to the super cheap auto, which I now know is not where you buy parts from, but it, Bought, bought pads and tools for about $200 mm-hmm. and it was next door to the Midas that I, I walked out of. Have you got a box and all that? Like a normal fucking, what do you call them? The toolbox? Toolbox. Yeah. yeah. So you're yeah. fully decked out like with all the shit and that. Oh, now I am. Yeah. Yeah. Snap on shit or king chrome or? Uh, I've got a couple snap on things um, yeah. just because I mean, I don't buy into the whole my toolbox has to be all this. It has to be all that and mm. all that sort of shit. I, I, I bought Snap-on for the shit that was likely to go wrong. Yeah. So like an electric... Um, Timer in there. Uh, electric... Um, no, we don't use timers now, man. Everything's no. everything's done by the computer and the car. Yeah. So. As long as your sensors are working and the chain doesn't snap and the belt's all right. They can't. They can't go out of time. You, you just don't. You just don't use timing lights anymore. But um, so I've got like a, a three eight um, electric ratchet. Um, that's probably the most expensive thing I've got, and that's snap on. But if that went wrong, it can just be replaced. What about your torque? You know the torque wrench, one with the yeah, settings. Yeah. Is yeah. that expensive? Yeah. yeah. Well. If you got that from Snap On, they've they've got they've only got one off memory. But um, shout out to Snape, uh, to Steve at uh, Peninsula Snap On, um, guy who sees us. He um, they've got one that. So when you when you're doing like head bolts on a on a, on an engine, you have to like tighten them to a certain torque first. Yeah. Then you got to do all the other say like eight or ten head bolts or whatever. How however big the engine is how, in a sequence. Yeah, and then you've got to tighten them another certain amount but then you have to bring them to a certain degree so say like the bolts sitting that way it has to come down to a 90 degree or 45 angle or whatever it is but uh-huh. these ones you can dial in the torque and you can dial in the degrees on the little screen it's, uh... yeah so instead of doing the old paint match mark that you do mm. like old school wise like that yeah, yeah it, it tells you all about it. it's fucking nuts 
but it, co- it, it costs more than my actual toolboxes all put together, so I just can't justify it. <laughs> I'm just like, no, fuck that. Like, all so you all- actually you actually tighten until it actually hit both both levels. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, head bolts are a pain in the ass if you've got a bad back. Oh, I don't know if I can. Well, a few of them, I know somebody that snapped a few of them off. <laughs> you fuck it up. Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, it's not a good time. Who do That's we know? Who do we know for? Oh, I need a. I need to get something added to my exhaust on my my car. Um. Added. Yeah. Flamethrower. No, not a flamethrower, but something that. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Should probably talk about this off camera. Um, no, no, it's legit. Sort of. <laughs> you know, I'm a roadworthy technician. I can tell you if it's legal or not. What is it? No, it's not legal. I know it's not legal. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's basically you put this switch on your you actual exhaust coming out, and there's an actual mechanism where it opens up your extraction valves. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then it opens up and you just press the button to close. To bypass. It. Yeah. To bypass, yeah. <laughs> uh, depending on what kit you get. Um, I'll be a fucking eBay kid. I'm not going to pay fucking thousands of dollars for it, but I don't want anybody to hack at it. I just want it to be... Oh, wait, no, you've got the welder, don't you? Yeah. Oh, I could do it. You could weld that in there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Depending yeah. what, what it's made out of. Like we, need to, we need to do some research as to what steel your um, exhaust yeah, but I haven't got the gases of. and shit. It's just a fucking MIG welder. Um, yeah, MIG will be fine. Oh, okay. I'm, good. I'm sure. I'm sure. Of it. Let me do some research. Mm. We didn't actually cut diffs at uh, diffs. We didn't actually cut exhausts at TAFE when we did our okay. courses. So let me let me do some research and I'll find out. I just I just want to get a nice fucking sound, like a nice note coming through it. Okay. <clears throat> to get it to get a good note out of a car mm. like that, you need to lose silences, not add that. Yeah, wouldn't it open it up? It doesn't, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Um, so, so what you're saying, like hot dog it out, you're saying? You wouldn't even need to hot dog it. So like my my old Jag that I had, mm. it was a straight six. Um, and yes, I guess, I know it's a different configuration to your car, but same same length, just a, a long saloon sort of thing. Um, and it had, so straight six, it had two extractors coming off the engine. Yeah. So three cylinders per stru- uh, extractor yeah. um, or header. Um, and I had an intermediate silencer on each, yeah. on each set and then a rear silencer. So you reckon you could unbolt the silencers? If you, if you took off the intermediate silencer, which would be sitting somewhere under your seat, I reckon. Yeah. Uh, sorry, under your, under your passenger seats. Okay. You lose that, it'll give you a much nicer sound than straight exhaust. Because the silencers take out that real fucking high end, mm-hmm. and depending on where your oxygen sensors are on the exhaust, yeah, if that pipe, it all depends. I've never been under uh, your car, uh, the same car as yours before. Yeah, yeah. So I need I need to do some research. I don't know how they're laid out, mm-hmm. but if you put it too far forward, it'll sound like shit. And if you if it only goes to a certain point in the car, you might need two of them or you might need one. I don't know. I'd have to get under and have a look, but you'd be better off losing mufflers. So you reckon with the muffler, but would that, would that still be legal? Yeah. Okay. If you lose two, so I'm, I'm guessing being a V8, it'll have two, it'll be side by side. I don't think it'll come into a wide joint and then come back out again. Because you've got dual dual no, exhaust tips, don't yeah, you? Yeah, so, I think it's side by side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you've got a side by side thing happening, you'd need two of those kits. Yeah. Um. I I reckon you'd get a much nicer sound losing two. There'll be at least two silences on that somewhere. Okay. So you lose the two first ones. Yeah. Then you, your tubes are nice and longer. You get a deeper rumble and a, a more throaty noise, which yep. I think is what you're after. Yeah, yeah. 
and all sound heaps better coming out the arse. Oh, okay, that's what I want. Yeah. I just wanted to sound that. And it'll that, be cheaper too. Yeah. I just wanted to sound that. Yeah. That... Yeah. So yeah, I had this Lambo pull up next to me, fucking net down in <laughs> Bella Clara, which fucking pissed yeah. me off. And I couldn't like if I if I if I just put in neutral, right, and just grab the fuck out of it, just go. yeah. Yeah. And it's sort of like uh, sort of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It sort of uh, uh, gases in on itself, sort of. Yeah, yeah. And I want to lose yeah. that. I just want to go. I just wanted to yeah. open up like it's fucking. <laughs> and he's cut. He was a cut about it because he pulled up next to me. Oh, and not so you're hearing his head on his lamp. Oh, what are you ribbing, bro? It's a fucking red light. We ain't going anywhere. <laughs> you got to remember as well, Lambo's rev to about 10 grand, whereas your car rev to six and have a limiter on it. So it's yeah. going to get more range of noise. Can you get rid of the limiter? Uh, maybe, but I wouldn't. You wouldn't bypass it or anything? No. No. They are probably one of the best features to come out on cars in the last okay 50 years yeah but but would it give you would it give you the good noise still coming out of the car because i've heard some car, limiter. yeah if you've still got the limiter in there would you still get that that real rasp if you've lost all the other shit um okay what what you need to understand about exhaust is as well with the lambo i don't, oh, I don't know if lambo do this exactly but um Say like your, your racer boy style cars. Yeah, yeah. They've got no cat, uh, yeah. catalytic converter, or they've got no silences whatsoever. Mm-hmm. So that popping noise you're hearing is unburnt exhaust mm-hmm. because it's got raw fuel in the exhaust somewhere and it's being ignited by the, the ambient temperature of the, the exhaust. Yeah. Um, some people go around that and then install a little injector in the pipe somewhere yeah, yeah that just drops a little bit of fuel in it which is highly fucking dangerous um but sounds awesome i've seen a car with that before that's fucking nuts um i i, I think you'll get best results losing two of the mufflers okay before you get to the rear so before the re- so you so you reckon there's about four mufflers on there it, there would be four mufflers, I reckon. So, is, it, that, it, include, it, is that including your catalytic converters, or is that yeah, your catalytic? You, ha- you have to have your cat on there. Yeah. yeah. So after so, the cat, whatever's after the cat, that's why. There's two ways you can go about it. You could you could go after the cat cat converter, mm-hmm. and you could go thicker tubing all the way through, mm-hmm. or the cheap option, which is what I did with my Jag was normal, 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 normal. Get to the first set of mufflers that are under the rear seat. They were on that. I'm assuming they're in a roughly same position as yours, given the size. Lost them, straight piped them. And then it got to the rear muffler, uh, the rear mufflers and that gave it the nice note. Would that put more pressure on the back mufflers? No, be fine. Be fine. All right, cool. <clears throat> All right. No, no, I want to get a note. Uh, <clears throat> it's time to get a note. Fuck that. Because my Trans Am used to have a fucking note on it, like a motherfucker I used to. Well, that stand. probably didn't have a cat converter either. So no, 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 we we hot dog that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we we actually hot dog that, and then underneath the hot dogs, even though it was still sitting too low, that we actually had to hit them so they actually became flat with the car. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I mean? Because we used to go down to yeah. fucking. You, do you remember the carousel in um, down in uh, down in fucking Alba Park? It used to be a nice like pool carousel back in the day, but anyway. Oh day. no. Anyway, and then um, we used to go down there and speed bumps, and the car was so low that I had to sort of come off, do the old crawl to the one side oh, to come yeah, over yeah. the other side yeah. because otherwise, forget about it. And um, <laughs> yeah, and then it was just like got back, fucking bang, 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 fucking. But the note I used to get out of this thing, I remember taking the back roads of um, Ocean Grove and we're going up to fucking Torquay and that, oh, man, I opened her up and the actual, where the, we sort of, we, we catalytic converters come out, there used to be the, the next join to come out. Yep. To go through to your exhaust. So it was, it was double exhaust. 
so twin exhaust coming through and then we unscrewed them just a little bit so all that <laughs> all that all that gas that would come through you know all the petrol that would come through you just get that plume of fucking fire underneath the car <laughs> it's so dangerous fucking it's dangerous hell. but fuck did it look good at night <laughs> you just see this flame just shoot under the car <laughs> fucking hell god we were crazy back then fuck the shit we used to do oh, fuck that. We, we could have killed ourselves so many times you know fucking hell it yeah. was like one of my cousins he, he he had he had the first vn ute you know, the, the fucking VN Ute. Yeah, v, VN was my first car. I had a yeah. wagon. Yeah. He, he had a Ute. And um, shout out to Mick um, at a Tex in the city. He owns a computer store. And um, that was his Ute. Like, oh, fuck that thing. I'll never forget it. Uh, I was at his place and he goes, oh, let's go get something to eat. And we had to go to Kentucky Chicken. Man, he fucking, he hit that 210 clicks. 210 clicks bro i've never shit myself so much <laughs> that i did in that day in that car we were going the back streets of altona mate all you see was just like it was so fucking low to the ground it, was like, <laughs> it just hitting the ground it was just like oh my god and it was the best feeling out. it was just like this thing was a monster yeah. and i remember when he got married like the like now it's a big thing people used to do the you know doing the donuts and shit you know and when he got married, um, his his uh, his brother's his brother's brother-in-law was driving the Ute, mm. mate. When he lit up that fucking street, not that he lit it up. Oh fuck! And the old man and I just got my Trans Am at the time, and I didn't know <laughs> I didn't know what it was capable of. So I was yeah. like, pushed the thing. My old man's like, "Hey, go load him up, load him up." I'm like, oh, oh, you know, just giving it a bit of, <laughs> and then once I worked it out, you know, the, this fucking ship that I was driving was the thing was just a sailboat, just a fucking, yeah, yeah. you know, and, um, <laughs> and after I worked it out, that was, it was too late, you know, but at the wedding, it was just like, <laughs> and he's just yeah, fucking smokes billowing, you know, but whereas this thing now that I've got, it doesn't take fuck all, like literally, I lose attraction control in it, mate, I could smoke. I could literally, you know where my house is, from my house all the way to the end of the street, I could, sm I could light up the street without, yeah. fucking, without even fucking trying. You know what I mean? Yeah. As long as I take the fucking, um, uh, what do you call Stability it? Stability control and yeah. shit off, traction yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. Once I take the traction off, you know, and I laugh at it because when I first got it, I was at my mate's place and uh, I've literally pulled out of his driveway and he goes come on, light him up. And I said, no, 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 fucking Chinaman's out. He's going to, he's fucking eyeballing me. And, and anyway, he's looking at me, he's looking at me. I'm like, yeah, you slide him up, fuck him. And then I literally, <laughs> I would have like, hey, 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 Christos, what's his button do? And I've pressed the, I've taken the button off and I'm just sitting there, fucking smokes billowing <laughs> out of this car. <laughs> but I've got to admit, the fuck, I'll, I'll tell you a story. When I had my Trans Am, I was, I was, I was, working for a place that a rag trade place in Brunswick. And, um, mm -hmm. and I'll never forget. They used to they, you know, they just got the car and they're like, oh, we heard you got a Trans Am. Yeah, I do. And they're like, oh, you know, bring it down. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. So I, I, I was never a show off with my car. I love yeah. my car, but I didn't sort of go, fucking check me out sort of shit. You know, it's just yeah, like, yeah. and they go, ah, bring it down, bring it down. And he goes, come on, bring it down. I want to see it, blah, blah, blah. And the guy had an XB, which was fucking mint, real nice car. And he, I go, all right, I'll bring it down. I brought it down. And he goes, oh, I bet you, bet you won't light it up. And there used to be these fucking three roller doors next to each other. And the trucks used to sit in these, in these bays. Mate, I filled up the whole fucking factory <laughs> of smoke. And I'll never forget the GM of the company ran downstairs. Because you just hear the fucking just the screeching. I fucking launch going around the corner fucked off like i was heading home that it was four o'clock four thirty whatever it was and i was heading home and as i've fucking launched taken off he goes what was that and the guy goes oh, i was a courier <laughs> 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 he goes a courier did that he goes yeah fucking hell it was crazy bastard yeah right <laughs> mate fucking just smoke billowing in this factory <laughs> oh that's awesome yeah oh, but i did it had a fucking note on it it was, um, you know, yeah, it was a fucking Easter. Yeah, I gave, oh, God, did I give that car? It was, but it was just funny because I spent so much money on that car. 
Like yeah, I bought a happens. I bought a Porsche. And so I bought a I bought a Porsche. I had a what did Porsche. You huh? What Porsche? I was only a nine two four turbo. What's that, late eighties? Uh it was an eighty two. Eighty two, eighty three, I think it was. Eighty two. Um Porsche. Um I bought it. I oh, bought, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it was like a, you know, the uh, RX-7 looking ones? You know, that window? Yeah, they do one on wheeler dealers. Yeah, and I yeah, bought one of those. Yeah, I fucking this thing, had a, this thing had a fucking turbo in it. This thing was fucking quick, bro. So it would have been the four-cylinder version, not the V8? Uh, no, it was four-cylinder. Yeah. Right. Four-cylinder turbo. And Nepean Highway, I, was, I, I, <laughs> I bought it off, um, uh, what was it called? Uh, Robert Lane Motors. Yeah. And anyway, I was going up to Pean Highway, fucking third gear, 180 clicks. Shit. That thing, that could move, right? And I bought it and I went, ah, okay, cool. And at that time, that, that was like, I think my, fucking, that was my second car. Yeah. And I, I, mean, I was working for the, you know, the guys I was fucking detailing and washing cars for. Yeah. And I took it to them and I'll never forget, Phil was like the, the, the supervisor of the shop. And he was, he was Irish guy. He goes, hey, um, Man, why'd you buy the Porsche, bro? And blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, you know, that's a typical fucking walk. So, yeah, you know, pussy. <laughs> <we'll see you." laughs> anyway, I got the Porsche. He's looking at it and they go, oh, he goes, I'll take it for a drive. Just check it out for us. Yeah, cool, go for it. Took it for a drive and he goes, oh, six hundred seconds fucked. Yeah. And I went, oh, okay. I had no idea what the fuck what the six hundred was, what it meant, whatever. And he goes, oh, it's going to cost you, mate. And then I, he goes, we can do it here, but you're better off going to Porsche for that. You know, like as in, yeah. Um, you know, just the. I don't want to fuck the car up or anybody, any, any yeah. of the lads fucking it up. Take it to Porsche. So I ring up Porsche. Porsche goes, oh, it's going to cost you. I think it was two and a half thousand for the second gear, secret in the second fuck. gear. And mind you, this was a time where it wasn't prominent for those type of cars. If you know what I mean, like it was yeah. poor. You could go to Porsche dealer. You could go to a fucking special. You know, there wasn't any specialty shops that you could go to. Whereas yeah, now yeah. you can go fucking anywhere. As long as the guy's done a few Porsches, yeah, yeah. you're cool. Yeah. Whereas back then it was, you had to go to Porsche. And I'm looking at the car going, fuck, I've this car for seven days. Nah, man, this is two and a half, an extra two and a half grand, fucking. And then plus the dashboard was cracking, so I had to change that. And I'm like, yeah, nah, fuck it. I'm getting rid of it. Literally got rid of it after seven days. And I've gone, nah, I, I can't, I couldn't afford it at the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Then I go out and then, we stumble on this Trans Am. Yeah. And fuck me, man. It was like, they saw me coming a mile away. It was covered. I've gone down to fucking St. Kilda. And fuck, I don't forget. It was auction. I think it was called Junction Motors at the time. Got in there and I go, hey, mate. What's that? It was, I was looking for a, sorry, I go, I was looking for another Porsche. And so yeah. my mate goes, there's a Porsche there. There's a, there's a 928 there. Let's go have a look. It's a V8. Let's go have a look at that. And I went down yeah. there. Didn't like it. Still needed work. Da, 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 da. And I go, mate, what's what's in the cover over there, bro? Right in the corner over there. And there's something under a cover. He goes, oh, no. Nah. He goes, I can't show you that because I know if I show you that, you're going to buy it. And I'm like, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> it's the oldest trick in the book. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And well, I fell for it. You know, but oh, what? Really? You know, and he's, he's unveiled it. And I've just looked at it and went, oh, my God, it's Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> 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 he had me hook, line, and sinker, bro. And I, and literally, yeah. I rang up my old man, and the old man rocks up, and my old man goes, it's smoking in the band, you're buying it. <laughs> I'm sitting there having cash over this bloke, paid fucking, got the car, bought it back, and I've gone, all right. Now, I, mind you, overhauling this whole car top to toe, I reckon it cost me like fucking, Jesus, geez, easily 25, 30 grand. Fuck. You know what I mean? Like the money yeah. was spent on this car. And then I just sort of always sat there and I just, just kept the fucking Porsche. I would have paid two and a half. They would have had a half decent car. Yeah. But I didn't think at the time, it just wasn't that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like being young, you're like, ah, I want to, you know, get something like this. And I never drove it. And I had the car, I had the car for about, oh, I think about seven, eight years. And I reckon I, in that whole time, I probably drove it maybe 20 times. Fuck. Just sat in the garage, like not. I just didn't want to drive it anywhere. Like it was just yeah, a. Yeah. It was literally if I if I took it for a run down chapel, drive it back, catch a cab to go to the clubs, whatever. Or it would literally be that would be the run. Would stop somewhere we'd eat, get the fuck out of there, and yeah, that was yeah. it. So I wouldn't. It wasn't a car that I. It wasn't a daily driver. 
you know. No. And um, but it was funny when I when I had to get rid of another car, and that's the only car that I had to tow that other car. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck me! And and your missus has never towed a car. Now she's driving a fucking uh, four hundred three big block fucking, and she's towing you. <laughs> oh, all you feel in the fucking I can't remember what the car. I think it was a fucking van that I had at the time. I had a van, and all I felt was like Phew! just the fucking shunt of this fucking V eight <laughs> sucking you up, mate. <laughs> That's good as. Oh god, fuck. Reminisce those days were. Very good, but yeah, I'm gonna like I say, I'm gonna want to change the exhaust here to get another note out of it. So we'll be doing that, people. Once we get that, we'll, we'll have it. We'll have the. We'll have it on the uh, thing. Yeah, we'll, pro- <laughs> we'll probably do it. We'll probably do a live stream of that if I do it myself. <laughs> yeah, we'll get Jordan to do it, and then we'll just we'll, we'll light them up. We'll get a. We'll probably get fucking a fine sent to us or whatever, and ah, because it's not uh, transgendering fucking properly or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I don't I drop <laughs> drop the tranny to get it out. Gee, you, don't, right. you don't want to drop a tranny? Fuck no, it. that means something else in my world. <laughs> we'll jacko it. We'll just jacko it. We'll jacko it. We'll jacko it. Oh, I'm gonna get some dinner, bro. But, All um, right, Brad. Well, look after your nuts. Great to see you back. Thank you, too, everybody. Man. I need to change my ice pack. <laughs> Josh, you're, you're melting. I'm melting. Yeah, I'm I got melting. a wet patch. I just hope it's not blood. I'm too scared to look on camera. Oh, don't do God. Won't be blood. <laughs> Won't be blood, will it? I don't know. Like How I... big is the stitches? Do you have a look at least? No, there's no stitches. How'd yeah, they do it? Keyhole surgery. It's like a like a two, three millimeter. Yeah, but they would have closed it or something, you know, no? Gauze. Yeah, that's happened to me before. Yeah, I've had that done. Yeah, so I've got to be careful with my nuts. Oh, careful, bro. Careful. I will. If I need someone to cradle them, I'll, I'll call you. Don't call me. <laughs> mm-hmm. I thought you were a, my friend. Is that a pussy in the... In the, in the he's got pussies. His balls are fucking... I've got fucking. three cats and none of them are helping at all. <laughs> yeah. They're smelling blood. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for listening. Keep, keep, keep up. Uh, you know, keep smiling and enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We're all gonna die soon. Just enjoy it. <laughs> no, we're gonna not die. Fuck it, hell. <laughs> Jeez, we're coming back stronger and harder and fucking more virile as we ever were before. Jeez, I can't wait till you fucking drop your first load, man. It's just gonna be like somebody's just gonna cop the <laughs> full spray. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still salty? That's what I want to know. Anyway, we'll talk about that. <laughs> we'll also live stream that. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for listening. Thanks, everyone. Cheers.